Hey guys, welcome to another training. Today we're going to explore how you can handle yourself and be able to tell an emotional story on stage or live in front of people without breaking down yourself. Now, we know in professional speaking training that telling a story that connects with you, yourself emotionally, connect with yourself deeply, is a powerful way to influence and create a connection with your audience because as human beings, we know what it's like to go through emotions. And that's why we and when we enjoy sharing that moment with others. So if if you go to a movie theater, you'll see sad story, everyone cries, you see um, comedy, everyone laughs. So we know the power of emotion and being able to create emotion in your audience is key for you as a professional communicator to tell impactful personal stories. But the thing is, those very same stories are powerful because it's emotional for yourself. But when you tell it, the same emotion can come flooding back and make it really difficult for you to complete the story. Just like a comedian, right? If the comedian can't stop laughing at his own or her own jokes, it's not so funny, right? Do you know what I mean? As a storyteller, you have to be able to tell personal important stories in your life, emotional events in your life, but without breaking down and just going to a complete mess where your audience is actually worried about you. But how do you do that? It's easy to say, okay, we'll just do that and just practice. But what exactly do you practice? This is where your breath can come in. Your breath is a powerful gateway to your subconscious, to your body and to your mind. And this is something, this is the inherent theme in the entire Executive Warrior Breathwork the way you do that is, again, take the breathing muscle that you've developed, the breathing skill you've developed, and now it's time to apply that muscle in the moment when it matters most. Let me show you how you can apply your breath. You, when you tell a story and you notice you're, it, you, you're losing it, right? you, what you do is to take a deep breath, hold it in, just two seconds, and then squeeze your tummy down, and release. And tell your audience what you are feeling at that moment. Verbalize the emotion, and watch magic happens. When you tell a story, the emotion come in, you realize when you take a deep breath and hold, and this is why we practice breath holding, right? We hold the breath in, so you know what I'm talking about when I, because you've already done the practice. Hold, deep breath in, hold, and squeeze, like up your diaphragm, expand your tummy, expand your waist, that 360 expansion, squeeze down for two seconds, it gives you that moment of composure. Because to, to cry, to burst into tears, you literally have to breathe fast, right? <laughs> right? That's what happens. But when you deliberately hold your breath in for a second, it just gives you a sufficient pause, right? You don't want to breathe out too quick. You want to hold it in just for a couple of seconds, enough time to compose yourself, then you breathe your out slowly. And by verbalizing your emotion, what you're doing is, you're triggering your prefrontal cortex or your communication centers of your brain, which is a different part of your brain to, to your emotional center, your amygdala. Amygdala is where the emotion happens, but your prefrontal cortex area of your brain is help you manage and control your amygdala. So by verbalizing, you're using a different part of the brain, which shifts the focus away from the emotion and allows you to gain some regain some control. Now, having said that, when it's really, really emotional, you're going to need practice. You have to practice telling that story by, and apply these techniques until you get good at telling the story without bursting into tears or without going into a panic attack. And that, that is something, the stronger the emotion, the more powerful it is to connect with your audience, but the more powerful it is, the more likely for you to lose yourself. So this is the technique you use, and 
for you to regain your composure. You can finish telling the story and just know there's emotion you can create and you can gift to your audience so that they can feel what you feel completely and you are able to create the influence that you will look to create in your audience. So short lesson, but really important. The application is it's quick, it's short. It requires practice. You, can, you need to decide what story you want to tell and practice this technique. You can practice with your loved one, with your executive coach. If you have a leadership or executive coach, they're great to practice with because there's trust, confidentiality. And that's why I do with some of my clients. I ask them to practice, use me as an audience, and they know they can fail in front of me, and it's okay. And I'm not going to tell and share the story. Get someone like that to help you develop your technique, and you'll be awesome. You'll be able to tell genuine, authentic stories that connect with your audience and without losing yourself, and you'll be able to master this. I hope you find this lesson so useful for you in helping you conquer your greatest goal and challenges. And as per usual, put your comments below, and I look forward to seeing your comments and questions in the in, in below. All right, until I see you next time, I wish you the best of days and weeks and abundant success, abundant joy, and abundant blessing. God bless. Take care.